All right, NFL Network's Colleen Wolf is here with me early this morning. And Colleen, we were just joking about it before. It's like 6 o'clock your time. So uh -huh. thank you for waking up with us. Do you have coffee? <laughs> Do What provisions are here for me? No, I'm just kidding. Well, since, this we is great. For, since we work for the Vikings, <laughs> Caribou is behind the cameras. Oh, amazing. That's <laughs> perfect. I'm in. But this is, com I mean, the combine, you know, every year we missed it last year. But every year, this is like when everybody starts to get rejuvenated, excited, because everybody is O and O. So for you, being a part of this, how has it been for you? I didn't realize how much I missed the combine mm. until we didn't have it last year. And coming back, I'm like, oh my God, I do want to go to St. Elmo's <laughs> and get shrimp cocktail. And it's such a weird, funny experience because no matter what, you can't walk down the street without running into a head coach mm -hmm. or a GM. You're like, oh, wait a second. Is that like the OC for like, who? <laughs> and it's, it's just like such a different world. You're going mm -hmm. in elevators with people, you're bumping into people at the bar mm -hmm. and you get into these conversations that that's that's the biggest thing about the combine. What happens here is everything behind the scenes. Right. Like that's the actual big event. And yep. I feel like the drills and everything else that happens, it's kind of just like show. Yep. <laughs> exactly. It's all about these these meetings and connecting with people. Mm -hmm. And the conversations I've had have been so wild. Like one head coach in particular was telling me about rankings that came out mm -hmm. about like hotness of head coaches in the <laughs> NFL and he was very upset that he was ranked so low on the list and I was like you actually care about this and talk about it and yeah that is that's the truth so it's a really fun strange event <laughs> this I'm, so, I'm still laughing at hotness I mean you, you just think about that and you just say okay well if you, I guess if you go hotness by team and then head coach where was that what well, is the value and right I was there? like what is this ranking I didn't even see it and so I was trying to Google and it was just like coaches on the hot seat and I was like no that's not it I'm looking for a different one <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that's funny well we were we all know the coaches right now for the Minnesota Vikings are not on the hot seat this is right. Kevin O'Connell's first year Quasi's first year so there's time to figure things out have you talked to those guys and what are your thoughts on this new regime I've talked to some people in the building and it's so funny the way that they describe how different mm. everything is now the energy that's in the building it's so fresh it's so new it's like working for a completely different team and that I think is going to trickle down to the players I mean that is something that is so contagious especially if you are stuck in a rut and things feel stale and not moving and then in in the Vikings case with the added mm -hmm. week you kind of had to like drag things along a little bit to end yeah. the season and so now there's just this new infusion of faces and philosophies and I like what they have done a lot and I think it's going to be great for Kirk Cousins and the offense too, just having Kevin O'Connell and his experience with the Rams, the Rams top 10 offense with him. Um, obviously, Matt Stafford thrived under him. And he, he come, McVay, all of them come from that Mike Shanahan coaching yep. system. So Kirk Cousins is in the same situation he's been for like the last three years or so, which mm -hmm. is awesome for him. But you know, the defense, that's that's what needs some yep. some stuff going on there. For sure. I mean, I think every Vikings fan would agree with you yeah. with that because you look at the defensive stats and it's like, okay, well, yeah, last in the league in this category, last in the league, last in the league in this category, you bring in this new regime. It's like, okay, well, now we have some new energy, some new motivation. And going back to your point of this new juice, it yeah. was kind of like hurry up and wait for all of us behind the scenes. So right. now that we're going and you've been a part of teams that have been going and going uh, fast and been to the Super Bowl and played in big games, what have been like some some key qualities that make up uh, that make up a, a really good team? Well, honestly, it's all about that energy. And I think that when you see a lot of these new head coaches and they don't it doesn't even it's not even about an age thing. Like mm -hmm. it's about the energy because you can be an older head coach and still have really young energy mm -hmm. about you. Mm -hmm. And that I think is the most important thing. And I think that when you have people running the show that have really good people skills mm -hmm. and that's what we've seen with a lot of the moves with the Vikings mm -hmm. that can just it makes such a difference and they can bring bring out the best in these players and when you when the players see that the front office cares and the coaching staff cares mm -hmm. then they're going to care even more and they're going to be way happier about the position that they're in right lastly now that the Vikings are, I guess we have this new energy, uh -huh. what's next for them to get over that hump and back into the playoffs? Well, there's a lot of work to be done okay. with the defense. Mm -hmm. 
Obviously, decisions need to be made about Patrick Peterson. Uh, is he going to come back? If not, you're going to need even more help mm -hmm. with cornerback and just the secondary in general. Um, way more of an edge presence. Yeah. That is absolutely necessary. I was even thinking, though, you know, as somebody from Philadelphia, Justin Jefferson, <laughs> the one that got away. <laughs> I told him that on TNF this year mm -hmm. after the game, and I was like, I, I love your style, but... <laughs> I hate watching you play, <laughs> not in an Eagles uniform. But I think about the fact that this draft is set up for them to obviously take defensive picks mm -hmm. first and foremost. However, I can't imagine what this offense would be like with another playmaker, someone mm. else to free up Justin Jefferson, even someone on the line mm. that would help longer developing plays kind of work out. And then Kirk Cousins could have a little bit more of some yep. pass protection, especially in the middle there. Um, but I don't know. I, I really like this team. I like them a lot. They're super fun. And it's probably one of the best stadiums. Oh. I, like. I'm not uh, indoor stadiums are not really my thing, but I am super into what the Vikings have going on. It's great, and it's not that the Eagles won the Super Bowl there at all. You had to bring that up right before, <laughs> right, be, right before I was about to close out. So I'm just going to end it with that because okay. Vikings fans, we were liking her right before she said that. But I'm gonna leave it, leave it on a good note. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolutely, that's Colleen Wolf. I'm Gabe Henderson.